हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज वट इज ट्रेनिंग वट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड नीड ऑफ ट्रेनिंग वट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ इम्प्लॉय ट्रेनिंग सो दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑल्सो फॉर दोज ऑर्गनाइजेशन हू हैव लार्ज नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स बिकॉज दे कैन गिव ट्रेनिंग टू देयर वर्कर्स टू परफॉर्म द जॉब्स द फर्स्ट इज कंसेप्ट ऑफ ट्रेनिंग एक वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट डेफिनेशन गिवेन बाय द आर्म स्ट्रॉन्ग विच डिफाइन्स द क्लियर कट मीनिंग ऑफ ट्रेनिंग द सिस्टमेटिक डेवलपमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम द सिस्टमेटिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ नॉलेज स्किल्स एटीट्यूड रिक्वायर्ड बाय एन इंडिविजुअल टू परफॉर्म एडिकेटली अ गिवन टास्क और जॉब इज नॉन एज ट्रेनिंग सो ही सिंपली डिफाइंस दैट एनी प्रोसीजर और एक्टिविटी बाय विच वी गिव नॉलेज स्किल्स टू द वर्कर्स सो दैट दे कैन परफॉर्म देयर प्रेजेंट जॉब इज नॉन एज ट्रेनिंग इन सिंपल वर्ड्स वी कैन से दैट ट्रेनिंग गिवस पीपल्स एन अवेयरनेस ऑफ द रूल एंड प्रोसीजर टू गाइड देयर बिहेवियर एंड अटेम्प टू इम्प्रूव देयर परफॉर्मेंस ऑन द करेंट जॉब or prepare them for intended job here it is said that training helps to introduce the what is the rules and procedure of the organizations and what are the rules and procedures required so that they can build their behaviors or attitude which is required to perform their present job as well as prepare them for intended job this is training now here we discuss what is the need and objective of training need and objective means why training is required for any organization the first is improving employee performance you know that employee when it is recruited when he is recruited by an organization he might not have all the skills required to carry out his job so training the employee at this stage helps to improve his performance to meet organizational standards that is why it is necessary to give training to the workers now the second is updating employee skills training enables employees to update their skills and helps integrate the technological changes successfully into the organizational systems and process that is why it is also one of the most important need of training and third is preparing for promotion and managerial succession what it means training helps an employee acquire the skills required to assume greater responsibility it makes that transitions from an employee's present job to the next one easier and smoother so that we can easily choose from which employees or which employee we can promote and demote so this is also one of the most important point and fourth is creating efficient and effective organization creation of a reservoir of skilled employees enables the managers to spend less time supervising them reducing accidents and improving organizational stability that is why for purpose of creating efficient and effective organization training is required and fifth is obsolescence in prevention it means training program fosters the initiatives and creativity of employee and how to prevent manpower you may say that in case of uh, machineries or anything like depreciation the same sense here obsolescence is used for the workers and in obsolete employees is a waste of resources that is why it is required to give the training filling the gap the training effort aims at filling the gap between the existing and desired workers of knowledge attitude and skills and individuals group and the organizational levels so this is also important to fulfilling the gaps growth within the organization training helps people grow within the organization so that the future needs for human resource can be met for within and we cannot look from the outside that is why training is required and last is reduce the learning time for employee training reduce the learning time for employees on new jobs in case of transfer or promotion it ensures that they become fully competent as quickly and economically as possible that is why for the purpose of reducing the time for learning training is given by the organizations to their workers now what is the importance and significance or merits or benefits you can say that in this uh, words are synonyms 
and first is benefits to employee and then we will discuss what is the benefits to the management according to benefits to employees the first is increase the market value of employee it is uh, of course if that a person is having skill have a knowledge he has a great demand in the market like a employee market now the second is it helps to increase the morale it helps the workers to increase their morale to perform and to behave okay the third is it increase the commitment to work hard it also helps the workers so that they can commit it to their work that they can be perform their particular task according to given time in given time and helps in accomplish goals so this is the benefits of benefits to employees and now benefits to management means what is the benefits get uh, by the management while giving uh, or giving training to the workers the first is to resolve sources of friction the second is achieve higher standard of quality and the third is reducing the time in supervision and lastly helps in building positive culture so this is the most benefits or a more uh, significance or you say that merits is for the workers or the management as well so this is the end of the video i hope you will enjoy it